AI tools for research promise the world and then just as you want to use them, boom, paywall. What if I was to tell you that there are some amazing 100% free tools out there for academia and research and some of them are even better than the ones you'd pay for. Well, keep that money in your bank account, let's check out these tools. The first tool you need to know about is this, AI2 Paper Finder and this is the team that produced Semantic Scholar. So, if you go here, it's a really weird sort of like URL so I'll leave it in the description. It's uh, paperfinder.allen.ai, it's a group that was founded by Paul Allen, you know, the late Microsoft co-founder, and they're really trying to help uh, research and academia, and these are some of the tools they've generated. Anyway, that's just besides the point here. We've got AI2 Paper Finder, and it's really great, a research tool for paper discovery with 8 million full paper texts and 108 million abstracts. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see here, it's very simple. You just search for papers here. You just put what you want to find here, and it will find things for you to read. So here you could see I put in nanocomposite transparent electrode materials, and then it went through all of this stuff, processing request, uh, looking for set of papers, blah, 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 and ultimately it found 75 papers. And the one thing I like about this is, look, we've got 75 papers, but we've got this, perfectly relevant. So it gives us a relevancy score out of one. This is 0 0.98, development of graphene-based polymeric nanocomposites. Oh yeah, that is pretty good. And we have got 75 of them. So here we go, we've got other ones, other ones. Keep scrolling, this is a fantastic free play Place to find that information and the papers that you need to know about in your research field. And another thing I love about it is that on the side here you can see we've got relevance, we've got a way to sort it by year, we've got venue, and we've also got um, author. Venue's a weird choice of words. Nonetheless, those are the things we've got and then we can export all of the citations as a bib text file, JSON or Markdown to put into your reference manager. Oh, 100% free and powerful. Love that, but check out this next one. This AI is made by exactly the same people and here we've got AI2 Scholar QA and this is about synthesis. So ask a question and get comprehensive answer to, that synthesizes and cites multiple papers. So first of all, we had looking for papers. Now, what if we need to know across multiple papers what is actually going on? So here, you can put in a literature review question and it will go away and do that for you. I've done one previously and I said, can OPV devices reach 30% efficiency? The one thing I like about this is the response is very, very considered and we get this. We get like different sections that I can open up and we can see that there's 35 papers cited in this answer. If I wanna know something about the introduction of OPV devices, I can click click here and then get some information about the introduction of OPV devices. But if I really just want to go down here, I high efficiency for indoor applications, I can click here, then I can click here and you can see that it takes me to the um, paper that it's citing. So this is really great way of getting a snapshot around your say research question or any sort of research question that pops into your mind, pop, you can just put it into this and all of a sudden you'll have a well referenced uh, response completely for free. Now stay around because there is gonna be a literature review generation tool that's 100% free and is even more powerful than this. As far as 100% free AI academic tools goes, you can't get much better than the OG Semantic Scholar. This is a free AI powered research tool for scientific literature, you put it in here, I've got nanoparticle OPV devices, I can click search and then you go away and it will find all of the stuff. It's super fast, you can sort of like filter by fields of study, date range, has PDF, all of the things that make it super, super powerful. Semantic Scholar is actually sort of like the engine behind a lot of AI tools that you end up paying a lot of money for. So why not just go straight to the source and use it here? You can see that it's generated loads and loads of responses and it just keeps on going and going. If you click here, you get taken to, you know, the semantic scholar page you get to see the figures you get to see the citations the references everything that you would want to know about a paper and it's completely free and you can use semantic searching to find them so absolutely love that 100% free let's keep the party going the next 100% free tool you should know about is this storm this is storm.genie.stanford.edu I'll put a link in the description but here we can create an article now this has changed over the recent months and weeks but ultimately here we've got storm um, these ones don't work 
work at the moment because it's uh, under some sort of maintenance, but we can create an article and we can search Google and also we can change the mode here as well, but you can't at the moment because it's undergoing maintenance. But um, yeah, here we put the topic that we want an article about. And if we go to my library, you can see I've done this social media and teen depression. And uh, the one thing I love about Storm is that it's kind of like a agentic in the fact that you have multiple AIs working together with different hats on. Like I am the educator hat, I am the researcher hat, all of that sort of stuff. So see brainstorming process, you get an idea of what I mean if you click here. So this is the basic fact writer focusing on broadly covering the basic facts. We've got the mental health professional, we've got a social media researcher and an educator to help tell you all about that stuff. We click off this and we can see we've got a summary. So this is our article on social media and teen depression. We've got the summary, then we've got the background and it's all referenced as well. The references often go out to news articles rather than peer reviewed stuff, but nonetheless, it's still really valuable if you want that sort of like first uh, touch point with a particular topic or just to make sure that you haven't missed anything. So here we've got all of the referenced um, paragraphs. I think it's a nice structure to it. It's got, you know, mental health concerns, depression, anxiety, sleep disruption, social isolation, cyberbullying. All of these things are really awesome. And you can see it is a relatively long article. Um, that that contains all of the stuff you need to know about that topic. So for 100% free, does it get better than that? The answer is yes, it does. All right then, so this next tool we've all heard about, but they've added a new feature that you should know about, and it is Notebook LM. Here it is, this is Notebook LM, so this is what it looks like when you log in, but ultimately here we can see I've uploaded a load of sources. This is a great way of being across multiple sort of like uh, PDFs at once, and uh, yeah, you upload your sources here. You can upload up to 50, so one thing I often suggest to people is they create little sort of like subtopics, topic one, topic two, topic three, and then you say like, okay, I'm gonna put 50 references in there about a particular topic, um, a particular sort of like subject area or paper that you may be working on, put all the references in one notebook, but uh, yeah, you can copy and paste them all in and uh they end up on this side here. And then this is where you can chat with all the documents. You can see if I was to chat here, I'd be chatting with 21 sources. Now I've been through this sort of like notebook LM in the past, go check out this video here. But ultimately, this is the new thing, you can click here um, to create a mind map. Look at this. Oh, this is new. I've done that. And then we end up with this mind map, which means you can put in a load of references and then sort of like get an idea of the common themes and structures between all of these different papers in a simple mind map. Absolutely love that. So you can see here, let's zoom out. Organic photovoltaic devices is the primary sort of like topic. And then we get materials, device architecture, performance metrics. We click on this and it opens up. Here's our, all of the materials that we need to know about. Absolutely love that. Um, device architecture, we can go in and say, okay, I want to know about inverted structure stuff. And then once you click sort of like one of the final points, it says discuss what these sources say about inverted structure in the larger context of device architecture. I can't think of a better way at the moment to completely be over a large set of documents in a simple, easy to use format that's really user friendly. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you know of a better way of doing that at the moment, but this is completely free. You can see that uh, yeah, each one of these factors, I can go in and delve deeper into any one of these topics based on the PDFs and all of the things I upload. Yes. Stay around so that way you'll be over all of the free AI tools that you can use for academia and research. The next tool that you should know about, which is 100% free, is Research Rabbit. This is going to be free forever. So Research Rabbit is a way to map research and kind of find gaps and links between different types of research. It's a little bit tricky to use. It's not completely user intuitive, but it's a great way if you upload a load of papers just to make sure that you're over all of the other kind of like adjacent papers um, to make sure you haven't missed anything. So here are all of my papers that I've uploaded and you can see here I've got similar work, earlier work, later work. I want to know similar work and then this opens up this and then we've got all of these how it's connected and then we can explore further by clicking over here I would probably download all of these just to make sure that they were in my reference list and uh, you know I could take these and upload them to something like uh, notebook LM if I had the PDF just to make sure that I'm aware of the topics connecting all of these papers together um, and it's just so great you know just such a great tool I love that it's completely free um, just spend a bit of time you know getting over that activation energy of actually 
using this because it is a little bit difficult. You need to go in with a game plan and be like, you know what? At the moment, I'm searching for adjacent literature or I just found this new author. I wonder what he did. So if I wanted to have a look at authors, you can click here, these authors, and then I can be like, oh, what's uh, Kerry Burke up to at the moment? And then you can see here, I can say publish work. It spills it out this side. Beautiful, easy, free. Oh, love that. Get that tingle downstairs. Free. If you think that one was good, check out this next one. The last tool that you need to know about, which is 100% free and is maybe a little bit controversial, is DeepSeek. DeepSeek is the large language model for general use that is 100% free at the moment. Now, it is based in China. There's been some privacy issues. I know you can run this locally, but if you're looking for a free option that's 100% free, that isn't trying to lure you into their paid sort of subscription model, this is where I would go. It says here, hi, I'm DeepSeek. How can I help you today? And you can put in all of the stuff that you want to know. So it gives you good, well-rounded responses. It's not as good, in my experience, for academia as the paid ones. I really like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and I like their paid models because they're much more powerful. But if you're looking for a free general model AI that you can use for academia and research, check out DeepSeek because it may be the one you're looking for. Did I miss any 100% free AI tools? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, go check out this one where I've actually ranked the best AI tools for academia and research. Some of them you pay for, some of them are free, but go check it out.